So the next trick talks about splitting your screen and some good searching techniques. So let's say we're in our English class and I might have a list of questions that I have to answer and I might also want to be clicking back and forth between what I'm reading in my assignment. So if I click the Alt and the left square bracket button at the same time, that will split my screen just nice and easy. I don't have to try to you know, size it up and be perfect. So it's a nice quick keystroke, but what's it gonna do for me here? I still have to toggle back and forth. So if I click and drag this tab over, it will set it up on the right hand side. And now if I do that same um, key connection of Alt and right square bracket, it will make that nice and neat for me. I can also come in here, this looks actually pretty good right now, but I can come in here and I can change how, oh, sorry, I already did it. I can change how zoomed in it is. So if I can't, like previously I couldn't see the whole page at once, but now I can. So pr again, pretend this is your report um, and, and here is your reading. So that's just one way to just be able to multitask a bit better. Now I mentioned for you that, to you that you could also search for things. So in order to search, let's say I was writing a paper on, you know, how gloomy Moby Dick is, or I was looking for a particular character, I can click the buttons at the same time, Control and F, and out pops up this find in document. And it's on the wrong side because I think I did it over there. Let's click over here. Now let's hit Control and F, and here I already typed it in, but I could type in anything here. I could type in uh, Ishmael. Uh, let's do Gloom again because I thought that was pretty interesting. So Gloom shows up 21 times and I can click, this is one of 21, right? So right here, and I can click this down button. It's gonna show me two of 21, three of 21. So it will go through the entire document and it will show me every single time that Gloom is mentioned here. So I think this is pretty powerful stuff. Let's say you were looking for some term in your English uh, text or article, uh, you know, chlorophyll or something, and you, you were searching for more information on that. If you use this technique, that should bring you right to that information. And it might be in there a few times, but um, it will at least help you find it. This is, of course, for a review and not for a first read. So. Yeah, so that's it, splitting your screen and uh, searching for information in a doc. Thanks.